I guess it's one I, I use at the moment, uh, something called the Berghaus Hypertherm, a light insulated jacket as part of our mountain house team uh, developed it and that was the innovation and these guys challenged themselves to come up with uh, groundbreaking products and I mean they always hit it on the the nose with their products but the Hypertherm is a particularly great versatile product. Probably the Ulvatana hybrid. So as part of my role, I was in the Mountain House team, so looking at innovative materials and fabrics and how to put, put all these materials together to combine to a, to a product that's going to feel comfortable on a body. So we did loads of work with thermal cameras and a lot of testing from a, from a techie point of view, which I'm interested in. So yeah, and then won awards with this, this product as well. So that was really, yeah, a really good product to work on. I suppose it's going to have to be the Hyper 100, which was the first innovation product that I worked on. The questions the designers were asking me helped me to develop my own skills that were relevant to this company and it sort of showed me what I was capable of doing so that was definitely one of my favourite products. Uh, my favourite Berghaus product um, is not one that I've ever actually worked on. It was um, from before my time at the company. It was called the Boltoro Softshell Jacket. And it was just one of those jackets that was simple, did everything it needed to do. It was sort of ahead of its time and it still works today. I still have it in my wardrobe and I still do use it. Probably the, one of the most recent ones we worked on was Leo's pack. Um, it, was, so it was a pack we did for Leo's most recent expedition to Roraima. And that was just fun kind of looking at the innovation we could do with the pack um, and kind of working with him to kind of create the best pack for their expedition. I guess from my earliest memories of my dad dragging me up a, a mountain in the Lake District. For me, it's the adventure. There's always something new out there to go and um, to discover, whether it is just in the Northumberland coast or further afield in the Alps or even further you know, down South America. There's just always something out there. I just love that, being outdoors. It's uh, the whole thing about being in nice countryside. It's good for you physically as well as mentally uh, to get some exercise outside. Uh, the outdoors for me is, it's really simple. It's just a, a great place to be. This industry is, is all I know in that respect because I've always been into the outdoors, whether that was getting into it through scouting when I was a younger kid, working at outdoor centers, climbing and stuff. But ultimately the outdoors for me is what makes me go, you know, tick over on a weekly basis. I, I do like the outdoors, I'm not as much of a fanatic as some of my colleagues, but I come from a small place in the south of France. I've always been around in nature, I spent a lot of holidays walking, hiking in the woods, so it was a, a nice fit here. I think it's just, I, I grew up in quite a rural area and it was always just kind of like my playground. It's just fun, um, I get like being in towns and cities all the time, it kind of want to try and escape a bit. I just find it fun getting outdoors and doing as much as you can and trying new things. Lake District. <laughs> Hill walking and climbing. Yeah, yeah when we're, we're in Norway, that kind of snowy environment kind of thing, living out there, you can escape from the day to day, which was, which was really good. Um, get out there, see some amazing things. Yeah, just live in those environments would, would be pretty cool. Um, Northumberland. I'm sorry, <laughs> it's not any more dramatic than that. Northumberland's one of the most beautiful parts of the world that I've ever experienced. It, I'd go to the coast. Could go in the lakes, because you could just go to one of the caves there. There's a really cool cave called Priest Hole. Or go to any of the bothies, you could just live there. But the weather would be pretty miserable 90% of the time. But that 10% where it wasn't would be pretty awesome. We go back to where the brand began and staying true to, to the heritage story of, of the brand, just not settling for things that are available off the shelf that's, and trying to push to the boundaries in manufacturing design. Just that solid British brand that uh, we are. It's one of the leading outdoor brands in the country, if not the uh, leading outdoor brand. I've a long associated with, with Berghaus, being an outdoor person myself. I used to use Berghaus back in my teens, which was a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a great brand to work with. It's like nowhere I've ever worked before and it, it seems like the people here are really invested and passionate about what they're actually doing. So we've got people here who genuinely love the outdoors, yeah, are, are really invested in making the best product possible that's going to work, going to last and, uh, oh, and look good as well. It has been the most interesting job I've ever had in the clothing industry. It is innovative, it's always challenging. 
the shapes that I'm asked to come up with, they're very different from anything else that I've um, done in the past. So it's, it's a constant challenge and it's constantly stimulating. So it's, it's probably you know, one of the best jobs I've ever had. I was not really aware of Burghaus before I moved to the UK. So when I came for the interview, it was because the job uh, was very interesting. And then I met the people, met the place, and I got hooked uh, pretty much like everybody else. Because it's close to the lakes in Scotland, I managed to get out over the summer quite a bit just to go to the local crags. And then just having the weekends now, you can really get like up into Scotland and the lakes. And then just, it's a British brand and it's nice to work for like, kind of home brand.